and welcome back everyone to this week's edition of A Song of Tara. And as you can tell in the background, we have a person with a cold. Uh, no, it's called allergies. Well, allergies then in that case, that's at least marginally more understandable during summer than, than, uh, than a cold. Adorable, adorable allergies. Absolutely. <laughs> Have you never heard of a summer cold? That's a thing. It is a thing. It is a thing. I agree. Anyway, before we get started today on our hijinks, um, for the benefit of the viewing and listening audience, uh, I need to make a brief disclaimer. Um, due to some uh, changes in the group lineup, we are now down to five players and uh, the person who is no longer on the group or in the group is um, the player uh, who played uh, Aaron. Uh, as anyone who listens to this can probably uh, attest to, Aaron has been a, a very active part of the, of the campaign up until this point, and uh, it will undoubtedly lead to a, a change of, of pace and possibly even a change of tone that he's no longer here, but that kind of stuff happens in in uh, any role-playing group uh, for any number of reasons however we still have five players and we do intend to continue with these recordings and um for that reason i think we should get to well we should get to a recap and i'm gonna leave that in the capable hands of our gayard because he's usually really good at it nice. Beeping knew it you'd say that. <laughs> I knew it. It's been so long. It's been a couple of weeks, so my memories are fairly rusty. That's okay. Uh, we we That's saved some vamp. We 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 saved a vampire. We helped someone kill a vampire. We <laughs> discovered that um, one of Fenner's skater friends was um, actually one of us. Um, there was much travelling around. Uh, around the city, doing various tasks. Yes. Uh, the killing of the of the vampire uh, Neve by her sister Siobhan required us to go into vampire territory. And I say we, that consists of Talius and Taryn and Czar. Yep. Uh, we got some blood. Uh, a vampire was killed, because, uh, it, but this wasn't too big a, a, an issue. It was more of a sacrificial lamb on behalf of the of uh, the people in charge in uh, Temple Bar. Um, and in the end, yes, we were able to wake both uh, Neve and also uh, Sandy Van Hartigan out of torpor. We, by which I mean, I believe myself and Cesar, got um, Sandy out of the apartment safely to the neutral ground at, is it St... St. Patrick's Cathedral. I did wonder if it was St. Patrick's. Um, and... Yes, basically got her there where she would be safe as uh, she recovered. Uh, yes, as mentioned, the other, the rest of the group passed the time by going out um, to find out about Fenner's friends who hadn't been in contact for some reason. They went to the old train yard where they found a man dying quite horribly. Uh, they discovered uh, on, I believe it was the Umbral Plain, that um, the snake had... Um, Apparently shed its skin and gone, and then it was it was quickly worked out that what was the snake has now become the Dublin Nexus crawler. Joy of joys. Joy of joys, indeed. And that. Oh, and by the way, the picture I'm showing on the recording right now is in fact a picture of the cathedral in question. Indeed, indeed, indeed. Dexter. <laughs> oh, anyway, sorry I interrupted. Um, no, 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 that's fine. Um, anyway, yes, uh, we ended up chasing after something, which we uh, quickly worked out was... Um, was... Well, we, we, was leaving a path of destruction all the way to a school. We found another vampire dead there. Uh, I, yeah, one of the Asian vampire. The name escapes me, do apologise. Um, and we discovered that this... Predictably, this um, this swathe of destruction was caused by a... a guru, but by uh, one that had just undergone their first change. Namely, I believe, uh, Janet McMillan. 
yes. who the um, friend of Fenner's, daughter of the noted, um, what was it you called it in the, in the description, Joan? The Irish Diet Coke version of uh, one Donald MP? Trump. Wasn't what? It, wasn't it an MP? Yes. Yeah. Yes, he's a he's a member of the uh, of of the um, Irish Parliament, known as the uh, the Doyle. Yes, he is the as you described him in the description, the diet cola version of Donald Trump. <laughs> yes. And I can't bear to mention that man's name without wanting to spit. So, <laughs> do excuse he me. He gives me allergies. Oh, so that's the reason why you're sneezing. <laughs> But yes, so she's had her first change, and we've sort of left it up to Fenner and kind of Connell, our two resident um, Get of Fenris uh, goof offs, to be the ones to induct her into the, into the sept. And Fenner is Which... failing spectacularly, and I think it's because she cares for her that she fails so hard at it. Yeah, yep. well, you, you, you'll, you'll help she's, us through it. She's trying to cushioning the blow, and that doesn't work. No. Yeah. <laughs> But the point is, that, and then so around the whole evening off, once we got to St. Patrick with Sandy, Taliesin informed Sandy that Taryn had been the one specifically to uh, to save uh, her life. And then Sandy, uh, desperate to uh, express her relief and gratitude, decided that Taliesin, maybe having a similar nickname to Taryn, would be a suitable substitute and uh, kissed him. Causing all kinds of confused and worried feelings in Taliesin, but <laughs> oh, you got a boner out of it. Um, not quite that that bad. Um, oh, well, but she said they were confusing. Yes, but she. I think that the point is that while Sandy is in fact a very attractive woman, she's also quite dead. Yes. Yeah. It, if if the Sept were to discover that this had happened, even if uh, Taliesin hadn't. Uh, attempted to stop it. Uh, it could lead to certain. It could lead to certain losses of renown. It probably How could also be because... bonus could also be a factor in the confusion. <laughs> yeah. We'll just well, let's just agree that he had a very awkward teenage semi and leave it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And I right think... now he's confused because he's wondering if he's actually necrophile. <laughs> ow, ew. Uh, <laughs> ow, ew, 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 ah. Okay, um, that was disturbing on so but many levels. But wouldn't it be unnecrophilia? Uh, oh, for it goodness sake! Oh, this, this is getting a little too it's, philosophical. It's a person who is dead but isn't. It's really confusing. It's, it's a person I who's think, dead I but think... had second thoughts about it. All right. Yeah. You, ah. Like throwing themselves at the ground and missing and then flying. I died, but I didn't. <laughs> that, that's just. I think, we're, really I think we might be analysing like this a bit too much. You, you sound like you don't like the way this discussion is going, but if not for the things you made your NPC do, this wouldn't be happening. No, that that's a good point. I I, I think the uh, the situation here is that, that we, as a group, have just joined um, OAI, Over huh? Analyzers International. <laughs> oh, <Yes. laughs> well, it's fun. <laughs> it, absolutely. Oh, anyway, guys... I think that's pretty much what happened last time. So, when we rejoin the lots of you, it is in fact the next morning. Um, people have had time to go each their own way, get some rest, get ready for the next day. Probably with the exception of uh, of, of Tally, whom I believe would s probably have spent uh that night snoozing on one of the stone benches in one of the alcoves in in uh, St Patrick's Oh absolutely probably not the most comfortable of of, of resting places but uh, it'll do Yeah he's 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 a hippie he's used to the idea of uh slumming it around if he has to Yeah uh, but yeah okay I think he's fine just again it, it's all about keeping it's all about keeping an eye on Sandy making sure she's all right yeah well when when you come around uh, the uh, the next morning um, it's just before sunrise and you come around because she wakes you up Ooh. and uh, Sandy Sandy yeah. uh, wakes him up and says that uh, she is she, she will fall asleep very shortly there's nothing she can do about it and that uh, it, it's probably a good idea if when that happens if you are somehow able to stash her somewhere uh, in the building yeah possibly in one of the crypts or some such because quite frankly she's pretty sure that if they see her lying around during daytime hours 
they're going to call the Garda on account of her looking and appearing, well, dead. Mm-hmm. Okay, so... <gasps> She's if it's, dead! If it's early up in the morning, the uh, what's it looking like in terms of other people around? It's so early in the morning that there are maybe only three or four other people in the entire uh, uh, cathedral, and two of those are um, uh, people who work there. In that case, uh, okay, um, is the necro- uh, is the crypt, or well, I'm not sure Talisman would know where it is. Uh, maybe it's been taught to him. If if no, probably not. But uh, but Sandy does, um, uh, and and what she's saying is that she's going to basically need you to. Apparently, it's the, the vampires have done this before. It seems. But she's gonna need you to pull the door closed, and she gives you this look, saying, "I really, really hope you're gonna be back and let me back out." <coughs> oh, she's safe. Okay. How long has she yep, been that- safe? For a week? Oh, I forgot to let her out. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Um, yeah, I think that, that, that that's that's all fine. So tell us, and we'll let her lead the way. Uh, yeah. And move and move discreetly in that. In he, being a, such a performer as he is, he'll have mastered the art of moving indiscreetly in such a way that he doesn't look indiscreet doing it. Yeah, it's, you know, it's look, a Star he, Wars moment. I don't know, fly casual. <laughs> yeah, that thing of uh, what was it again? That our favorite author, whose name will bring a tear to your eye if I mention him. Mm-hmm. Bless his soul. Uh, talking about that way people move when trying to be inconspicuous that just makes the most so conspicuous when they do it. Yes, the knobby knobs uh, sidle. Anyway, yes. yes. The, um... Uh, the, the... Uh, blah, 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 blah. You get there. Yes, exactly, you get there. And the door is, is uh, in fact... It's it's a fairly heavy uh, thing, and yeah, it's quite unlikely that Sandy would be able to move it on her own. Okay, I think we'll do a quick. <laughs> bless you. He's I think. We'll, yes, I think we'll do a quick check inside to make sure that there's nothing hidden away for to surprise her. N- nothing is hidden in there except for well, you know, permanently dead people. Okay. And then in that case, yes. She does smile a little crookedly, snickers a a, a weird little grin, and looks at you with. For just a second, there is that there is that look of 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 madness in her eyes. Just 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 for a split second, she looks at you and 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 whispers in a in a semi horrified voice, "I see dead people." (laughs) (laughs) Mm Hmm. You do. Had Taryn been there, she would laugh with her. But Tally's just like, nope, nope. I'm just, nope. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. All right. Um, so yeah, we, I, I think he'll 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 just sort of look at her and then go to the back of the door with the aim of shutting it. <laughs> yes. Hmm. And so so. As, as just as he's getting there and he's bracing himself, he then says to her. I. I'll make sure to be back by the time the sun goes down. Thank you. I will. I will be here. <laughs> yes, at the risk of making a poor, a somewhat tasteless joke. Sleep tight. <laughs> <laughs> she uh, she smiles and gets down on the uh, on one of the um, uh one of the stone benches in the crypt which of mm-hmm. course is far up underground and therefore quite safe and she goes to sleep you get back out I assume yep that you close the door and then mm-hmm. what do you do then um, I make I think that I want to make a call all right on the way out just to well i assume cesar has gone on his way he's had business to take care of yes yes he he just basically dropped you off there made sure that there was nobody in that place who was going to break uh holy ground or whatever you want to call it break the peace of of saint patrick's Mm -hmm. and then he left uh in that case uh i will attempt to contact my pack um 
I will first. Uh, well, uh, I will first attempt to contact our Alpha on the basis that I probably haven't aren't aware of if anything happening, but I'll attempt to call the, him first. Uh, Aaron. Yes. Yeah, he doesn't answer. Somewhat surprised. I then go to the next one, the next next in line, uh, being Shiva. Um, seeing how early this is, it'll probably take a while before she answers, but she will answer. Mm -hmm. Do you have a question, AJ? No. Okay. Um, hi. Hello. Hi, Tally. What's up? Oh, I just got out of St. Patrick's. Everything all right? Yeah. Uh, Sandy's safe and asleep. I have to have to pop back to check on her when we uh. When the when the sun goes down. How are you guys? Well, I'm sleep. I was sleeping. Oh, sorry to have woken you. I can I can check on the others if you want. Uh, no, it's all right. Uh, I just wanted to know where you all are so I can meet up. Ah, uh, that's a good question. Did we ever meet up? I don't uh, think we did. No, we didn't. I think. No. So I would I still be at. Yes. Yeah. I think Colin and Fenner are still at Cat's place, if yeah. I remember correctly. Yes. Okay. And Janet. And Jan oh, well, yes. And yes, Janet. Janet is there. Hmm. Oh, when was I last? I forgot. Uh, you, you, had, um, you had been at uh, Aaron's place, but um, have gone home in the meantime. Oh, and so someone no, drew on you. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and I got it off. Yeah, well, you did. Except you for it. the one between the boobs. Yes, yep. the, which you left there as a sort of a. Uh, I made it an angry face. Yes. You made it an angry face as if your boobs were smelly. <laughs> oh, come on. Okay. Um, okay. I. Oh, let's see. I left Aaron's place and went home, so. Oh, all right. Okay. Wanna, um, Want to meet up somewhere and fight the others? Uh, can do. I mean, there's a few places. Well, we would always meet here. That would make it easier on me. Yeah, I suppose. All right, see you in. Um, I'll, uh, I'll walk it. Say half an hour to an hour. Yeah, I can have a shower then. See ya. Okay. See ya. Okay, so Danielson pucks his phone away. Um, pulls his flat cap a little, um, a little tighter over his head. Uh, takes his jacket off because it's uh, because it's uh, July and it's really hot. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. Uh, yeah. For those of you who are listening, this is being recorded in July, and some of us uh, in both of the countries of England and Denmark have are, are have gone or are going through heat waves. Yes. Yep. Yes, we are experiencing a a uh, wicked witch of the West moment. I'm melting. I'm <laughs> melting. <laughs> <laughs> So yes, uh, bless you. <laughs> and punctuated by that is just perfect. Yes, so uh, yes, Taliesin shoulders his jacket in that kind of in that kind of fifties um, drama movie way. Yeah, and gets walking, hunkering down and, and setting your shoulders against an imaginary cold, which really isn't there. Yes. He'll, be, he'll whistle an Irish an Irish folk tune yeah. on the way just to fit in, you know. Yep. Yep. I think uh, Shiva will send out a group text saying, meet where, question mark, and then she'll take a shower, waiting for replies. Hmm. Yep. Does anybody reply? Um, it is early morning. People might be asleep. Okay, except, of course, well, a text goes in. It's a possibility that the buzz or the alarm will wake people up, but other than that... Yeah, yeah, that's um, we we left everyone off with them at the apartment, but did we just go home? Yeah, uh, simply because that apartment, if you recall, uh, Aaron had described, had it was just bare bones. There's nothing there, no place for people to sleep. So people. Well, he did say that for some reason was a shovel, some rope, and fertilizer, and yeah. none of us got the reference. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> All right. Then I have a feeling Taryn reacts because her phone needs her. Yes, yes, <laughs> it's it's got it's got um, connection issues basically. 
It's like my people need me, but with a phone. No, don't leave no. me. It's it's not people need me. It's oh my phone is sad. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Yeah. She is a weaver. She can't help that it. Time I got it's you. It's okay, phone. phone. I'll never leave you. You're just saying that until the next model comes out. Shh, 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 Oh, look, there's a new one out. Sorry, Shiny. honey. <laughs> but, <Shiny>. um, <laughs> all right. Yeah, I think Taliesin's response will be as before, be to meet with uh, her place. Her yep. place? What place? Uh, that would be, well, Mary's old house. Yes. Yeah. Um, John, could you bring up the Dublin card? I can. No. Map, not card. <laughs> no. I can. Don't do it. I we can. have to memorize it. No, I think. I think there will probably be a response from Connell as well, which will basically be a, a long row of sets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Here we go. I think when she's done showering, so she can answer the. Uh, I can't see the map, so she can answer the text. She'll she'll respond with, "I'll make breakfast." <laughs> Connor will then reply with, "Be right there." <laughs> yes, the classic the classic um, man in a relationship uh, text. No, she will just have to go. I have bacon, and then he'll be there. Yes. Cooked or uncooked, we found Imagine. out last time. If 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 the word bacon is is uttered, <laughs> uh, Connor will automatically assume that bacon is involved. Yes, yes, and it it'll result in in basically in a in a slobbering wolf throughout the signal <laughs> 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 yep. through Dublin in the general direction of bacon. <laughs> I'm going he to can, assume that I know so Connor. Danish. Well <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> well, I'm, I'm going to assume I know Connell well enough to have several kilos of bacon lying around me. <laughs> <laughs> Probably, yes. Yeah, between Connell just loving bacon, Taliesin only being able to eat meat, you must keep a large stock of <laughs> dead animals. That's all right. And hmm. Taran just loves that. <laughs> yep. So... Um, Fenna being all. Still probably half asleep. What time is it when this text is sent out? It <laughs> is well. It's before the sun gets up in and July, so... and it's July, so it's around <laughs> four thirty in the morning. Jesus oh Christ. no 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 no, Joan! I know when the sun gets up, and it gets yeah. up around three in the morning and three fifty. Oh, yeah, but yeah, that's okay. that, that's true. But that is also in Denmark, which is well, it's, and it's in the real world. The world of darkness is slightly darker. <laughs> so we'll say yeah. four thirty and just be done with it. Mwahaha, yes, GM's you... prerogative. Yes. <laughs> well, uh, in that case, the reaction will be, "I'll be there once I find my eyes." <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, I forget. Realize, uh, Yep. What about Janet? And as far as I remember, how much did I know about Janet? Because I think it's Probably. either nothing or very little. Um, Fenna has not really made an effort to mix her no. uh, very much her Garou and non Garou life. Like they they are her escape from all the Garou shit. Yeah. No, I mean, I mean, how much do I know about Janet being one of us? Um, well, you were told what, by what Aaron, Aaron said. Just yeah, so you um, are aware that it has happened, but probably not much else. In that case, I think it'll it'll be a little while for the reply, but it'll be something along the lines of, if you think it's a good idea, then bring her. And then some sort of smiley that conveys that um, you're you have to take this seriously, and I'm watching you. Then why did you use a smiley? Well, as an emoticon, then. Well, Why? five to ten minutes passed due to Fenna more or less falling asleep again. Before you get the... I'm not sure it's a good idea to leave her at home, and I don't know if Cat is back from uh, yep. the train That's yard. Smiley. That's Miley. Anyway, What's yes, Miley? I'm showing a I, picture on the... Um, oh, oh, yeah, yeah definitely. Yep. Oh, boo you! Yes. I can't see it. That, that, that's why I'm booing her. Yes, I'm. Um, you will just have to uh, uh, to to watch when 
when the uh, recording goes up. This is part mm. of what I meant when I said that I'm not that comfortable with the recording yet, so there you go. That's fine. Anyway, the... Um, so what did Fenna reply after Sorry, falling asleep? She said that um, she doesn't really think it's a good idea to leave Janet alone and she doesn't know if Cat is back. I think uh, as in she uh, I'd say it comes back quite soon after because she was clearly been thinking this along all the time like well considering you guys were the ones who introduced her to this stuff maybe you should bring her at least then the poor girl has a chance can we make the meeting well she texts back can we make this meeting a little later when we've had some sleep I'm ready to go back to sleep now. I think at this point there is a loud knock at at Connor's <laughs> door and, and Connor's voice saying, "Bacon at she was place now." <laughs> <laughs> One track mind. <laughs> mm-hmm. There's bacon in the kitchen. Let me sleep. Oh, there is. No, he Good ate fault. that yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> well, Fenner doesn't know if he ate all of it. <laughs> That's <laughs> probably did. He ate it raw. Uh. Well, it may not have been the last of it. <laughs> <laughs> well, Connell's in the, Connell uh, goes to find out. I'm, I'm pretty sure Cat's fridge is 45% beer, 45% bacon. <laughs> 10% I don't know what. <laughs> 10% stuff that shouldn't be in the fridge. How pu- <laughs> are, the, um, are the texts <laughs> being sent between... Um, uh, this is a group it. chat. Yeah, chat. I think this is a group chat. Yeah. yeah, so I think Tally will chip in at this point saying, uh, um, uh, first contact to Shiva didn't check time, much stars. Yes, and this is around the time when when uh, the 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 utter and absolute and and undiluted horror of no bacon dawns on on uh, on Connell. He has, in fact, emptied the fridge of bacon. <laughs> uh, Fenner hears footfalls approaching the door. Then <laughs> again, and the same sentence. Bacon <laughs> as she was placed. Now. <laughs> <laughs> I <laughs> insist. Waking up from all of this. Uh, <laughs> oh, brilliant. Well, oh. if Fenner doesn't wake up, he'll, he'll, oh, he'll wait a bit. Yes. Growing more and more awake, but uh, okay. w- what about uh, what about Janet? What about Janet? She, she, well, no, that's out of character. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, Janet doesn't wake up; she's fast asleep. Hmm. <laughs> she's mumbling something in her sleep. It sounds like she's having an argument with her dad. Mm-hmm. Oh no, Daddy! I don't want to wear the pink dress. <laughs> Well, that's not the worst thing he could be forcing her to wear. True. Speaking of things that she's wearing, Finna will probably have lent her both underwear and the pajamas. Yeah. Um. Uh, oh. For now, Finna gets up and leaves the room to talk with Carl instead of yelling through the door. So, are we going? Can you really not wait? I mean, you must be tired too. You did hear the word bacon, right? <laughs> Do you know Cat is home? No. I said, no, you don't know, or no, she isn't. Hmm. No, I don't know. Cat! There's a. a, a an a slightly annoyed shuffle from the from the uh, behind cat's door and then it's opened slightly and she peeks out uh. are you home <laughs> <laughs> okay you're home she's home okay um cat apparently mm-hmm. we are supposed to do a middle of the night meeting at Shiva's place mm-hmm. and uh oh, i don't know what to do about Janet. Oh, she's safe here. Yeah, 
And you'll make sure she doesn't do anything stupid like seeking out her family without anyone knowing if oh, they're Oh, don't oh. worry. I'll just, uh, I'll get her drunk or something. <laughs> do you have that kind of boobs? Boobs? Boobs. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is a get of Fenris we're talking about. Uh, I, I, I don't think so, but no, I don't actually. Well, then I can't get her, I can't get her drunk. I can... I don't know, sit down and sing folk songs with her. Whatever, I'll keep her here. Okay, thanks. And uh, no worries. Oh, shite. How, how, what time is it? It's, it's bacon time, time is what it is. Oh, bacon. Mm. What are you standing around for? Oh, I'm waiting for her! Oh. Oh, ap apparently he ate all of your bacon. Yeah, sorry about Oh, that, that wakes her up! <laughs> <laughs> you did what? Yeah, sorry. I I had I had to. You I refill the fridge. <laughs> yeah, I, I will. Okay. All right. I will. Oh, okay, come on. I'm eating all your hosts' bacon. <laughs> grumble, grumble. You get a few, a select few Danish um, uh, reminders there. <laughs> Yes. On the upside, he didn't bite the head that beats him. No. Oh. Hey, Carl, I'm just going to get dressed and write the note for Janet. So, cool. Yeah. Which she then does. Yep. She leaves a note for Janet, and then... I think, in the meantime, a text just gone in saying... Tell is on your way, could you check on Aaron? He hasn't answered. Text back saying he didn't respond to phone call either, we'll check. <laughs> That's a text back saying he's probably asleep. Good point. So yeah, right. Taliesin will divert. Yes, so you are going by uh, his place down in... Rathmine, so it's quite Rathmine. a big diversion. Actually, well, yeah, but if you look at at um, at uh, you're you're still on the south side of of uh, of the um, of the Liffey, and at least um, the Lewis uh, Lewis line goes through uh, Rathmine. So when you're when sh blah, 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 Arabic, you know, when uh, you are done in Rathmines, you can just hop on a Lewis and. No, you can't, because they don't drive that early. They don't start until five. Ooh, I'm evil. Okay, well, you'll figure something out, but you're going by there anyway, you say. <laughs> yes, Taliesin uh, will we'll walk. It'll All be right. good exercise. By yes. the way, Fenner adds to the conversation about Aaron not answering. Maybe he just had his first, first change while taking trains. <laughs> <laughs> well, you get to his place. Um, yep. A while later, while everybody else gets up and gets... Yes, of course. gets dressed and gets moving, you arrive in Red Mines. I make okay. breakfast. And yes, you make breakfast, exactly. Uh, you get to his apartment, the door is closed. Uh, no sign of anything wrong with it, particularly? No, it's just closed. I just, okay, knock it then. Uh, no answer. I try the door. Uh, yeah, it opens and as it opens you realize that it's loose on the hinges what there's nothing wrong with the door it's just not there anymore what? no it's lo <laughs> it's it's the the hinges are uh, so that when he actually pushes it open it almost falls inwards oh someone has put it back yeah to pretend that hey yes. i'm all right okay um Taliesin swears softly in Welsh. Uh, I say that rather than actually swearing in Welsh because I haven't got my cheat sheet up in front of me. <laughs> but, um, but yes, I then try my best to pick my way past the door and get into the apartment. Yes. And you manage just fine. You get into the apartment once you get upstairs. Uh, or oh, sorry, not even up, uh, upstairs. Uh, uh, once you get into the hallway... Uh, you realize that the um, uh, there, there must be something quite badly wrong uh, because first and foremost the alarm doesn't go off. 
Okay. And you can also see, um, even in the in the the foyer, you can see or the the hall down downstairs hall, you can see there's a, a bit of a mess. Like um, uh, there's a, a a bit of a bit of debris. Uh, like somebody has been, yeah, smashing up the place. It's not. It, it looks. It, it's not like the the uh, you know all the furniture has been overturned or anything. It's probably from the door. Fuck. Um. I suppose Taliesin will try to see if he can find any anything distinguishing about why the place is in the state it's in. Well, uh, how? Where? Where are you looking, basically? Uh. I'm trying to think. Where where would I be? I've just come through the door, so I'm in the main. You're in the hallway downstairs, and then there's a uh, there there's a um, uh, the flats is up the stairs, and there's a kitchen and a few other things here downstairs that are basically empty. Then there's the basement. Um, basement first. Yep, you get down to the basement, and that's where uh, that is where. Um, uh, the prisoner was kept, obviously. Yep. Um, she was basically she disintegrated there uh, the night before. The ashes are gone. <sighs> Someone's been tidying up after themselves. Okay, I go back upstairs uh, and look around the uh, the ground floor rooms. Uh, the ground floor rooms, uh, well, you get into the kitchen and you see that the the door has been closed to the kitchen. When you open that, you see that the kitchen table has been overturned. So have one of the chairs. One of the other chairs is basically uh, has been pushed aside. Um, and there's blood on the floor. Cack, 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 cack. Um, oh, the is Yes. Uh, swear cack, it's a, cack is a good all round swear word yes, in many it, languages yeah. it's just that they spell <laughs> it the Welsh spell it with, this, with an H instead of a K uh, it, it does still mean shit but it's just well, I was just about to ask if it's related to caca it yes is. it is in, in Latin it's C-A-C it's a anyway, universal so, swear word anyway yes Yes. so that's the downstairs that's the blood and upturned furniture in the in the kitchen um, the last place to look, then, I suppose, would be upstairs. Yep. But uh, Taliesin um, goes carefully. He's prepared for yep. something. You head up to the landing uh, on the uh, halfway up the stairs. It's a winding staircase. Mm -hmm. uh, or not winding, but it, it, it turns once yeah. on a landing. When you get up there <clears throat> and you look up the stairs, yep. you see uh, two corpses sprawled on the... Uh, on, on the... Uh, um, on the... What the fuck is it called? Floor? Uh, on the carpet, on the on the stairs, they have bled out from the looks of it. Uh, you don't know them. Okay. Uh, what do the wounds look like? Uh, claws and tears and rips and yeah, nastiness. What the fuck happened here, Aaron? Uh, I checked the bodies for anything useful. Messages, phones, valuables. They're both wearing, they're both wearing uh, gun holsters, but none of, uh, neither of them are actually armed. Okay, beat me to it, you bastard. Uh, carry on upstairs then. Um, yep, yeah, you carry on upstairs. You get to, uh, you get to the f the first room. Uh, is the. Uh, 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 there's a, a smaller uh, sitting room. You look in there. You see two more corpses, um, also uh, dismembered, uh, ripped to pieces. They too look uh, uh, in in a in a fairly bad uh, state. You see a lot of blood in this room. A lot of blood. You see bullet holes in the walls. These two are also equipped with gun holsters and no, they aren't armed either when you find them and they look like they're in pretty significant stages of decomposition. So, vampires. That's a good guess, yes. They probably came to get her. Um, I will probably go up to them and 
Uh, just to confirm the theory, I'll go up to one of them and raise. Uh, and at the risk of getting m diseased matter or, or dead matter on my fingers, I actually raise the, one of their upper lips to check their uh, their their canines. Yes. Well, this guy at least had his fangs out when he was killed. No question. <sighs> they are retractable, but yes, in his case, they are out. Mm-hmm. Uh, I look around under all the blood for anything. For any, anything. For Is it any? Go on, sorry, please. It's just anything uh, like signes that he's been, that, that, like, like Aaron's been, that he fought, that he's been hurt, well, that he's left again, a message. They've been, they've been torn to ribbons, so there's a good chance that Aaron has, in fact, been involved in this fight. Okay, um, no pieces of paper, no computers or a phone? Mm, no, nothing, nothing. No identifying uh, uh, information of, of, uh, of any kind. Does, uh, does Tally have common sense? Yes. Then he I could did. check the bullet holes in the walls and see if it's bullet or silver. Okay, yes. He calls upon his common sense to do that, and he also yes. calls upon his common sense to check the bullet holes without actually touching the bullets. Well, in his, if he's in a helmet, it doesn't actually matter. Okay, so my, my his common sense is fine. My common sense isn't so good. Fine, so yes, I check the bullets. Uh, yeah, you check the bullets, and uh, th they are unquestioningly silver. Then the iron is in problems. If not, he's in pieces. Okay, um, I check for any further ID on the, on the two vampiric corpses. None. None. Uh, they were very thorough. Yep. Uh, there's no other rooms to explore. There's nothing well, yeah, else. Yeah, you you got into the the uh, first is a smaller sitting room. There's a, a, a the actual living room is beyond that. Okay, I'll go back down that way then. Okay, you go into the the <coughs> living room. You uh, open the door, or push the door, and it literally falls off the hinges into <coughs> the room. You see complete and total devastation in there. The, most of the furniture has been totaled. Um, what little furniture there was, anyway. Hmm. Um, you see another six corpses on the floor. Um, most of them look fairly fresh. A couple of them are in, in advanced stages of decomposition and you see at least one small pile of dust. Um, and uh, and then you see uh, the unmistakable form of Aaron uh, sprawled across his um, his couch, looking very, very, very. Um, pardon the pardon the pun, but very, very holy. Mm. Talisman falls to his knees. And you see on the white wall behind him, you can see uh, words. And yeah, they are written in blood. And what do the words say? The words say, one of yours for one of ours. We can replenish our numbers, puppies. You can't. All you can do is die. And then it's signed, V. Victoria. Oh, she. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. If Aaron is looking very holy, does that mean he's got true faith now? Uh, Taliesin, I think. Uh, if I can find the clip, I can just. I can show you exactly his reaction. If I can find it. Uh, the audience won't be able to see this, no, but. No, no, but we, we might. Uh, if I can just get to the right point, here we are. Right. Let's yeah. Sorry. 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 This is going to take a little. While. No, 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 that's fine. <laughs> okay. You. Most of you will probably recognise this if you've seen this. I'm just expecting at least a few of you have. If this is Captain Kirk uh, going con, then I'm gonna. Then I'm gonna no. be upset. No. 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 No.
without the flying away bit at the end, that's yeah. obviously beyond him. Telly away! No. <laughs> Telly but away! It, yes, but no, that's oh, basically the, shake, the shaking of the head and then the yell at the end. Yeah, yeah. And all of Dublin is like, what happened? What the fuck happened? Yes, that could be heard across the, across the sea. <laughs> Probably true, yes. Oh dear. People in Denmark will be cowering and running away. Yeah, and by that, and then afterwards he will. Yeah, do you know what? I don't think he's going to rely on common sense. He's not really in a common sense mood at this point, so he's not going to go anywhere. He's going to sit there, yell, and rage against the heavens for a bit. Yeah. You actually bring up a very good point. Let us uh, please see a rage roll. <laughs> oh, fuck. Knew you were going to say that. Oh, God, this could go badly wrong. I uh, think most of us will uh, have to make that roll when we learn of this. Uh, no pool more. Difficulty. Difficulty is. Well, he is a very he is a very close friend. So. Difficulty. That's... Uh, that doesn't really change anything though, because it's based on the on the moon phase, and I believe we are now. We down. were at the Philo Ducks, right? E almost uh, half moon. You were almost at half moon. You are at half moon now, so that's a difficulty of six. Okay, let's see what happens, guys. <laughs> that's two uh -oh. successes. Mm hmm. Okay. That is, yeah. not, that is, in fact, not a frenzy. But, but it's bloody close. Yes. It's just like you can see his eyes go. We'll see, but then it, it, it goes back. It retracts yeah, afterwards. Yeah. It's probably a good thing running the circ throughout Dublin City and the start of the day is probably not the best way to start a day. Nope. It's, what happened? It's about... A dog went wild through the streets. Yeah, and it's just, it's just after that moment then that he transitions slowly from yelling into sobbing and just crawls up next to poor Aaron. Regardless Aww. of the fact that the final of the fact is going to get him covered in blood and just cradles him. Aww. He was a good puppy. He was a very no, good friend. Well. There is no question that Aaron has taken an a very high toll for his for for his life. He's made them pay. Oh, absolutely. I mean, ten ten leeches for him is is good. Even. Yeah, ten leeches, and even though some of them are probably very fresh, there is at least one who's already vanished. There are four yep. that are decomposing at a at a steady rate, and they were armed with silver. He's done very good. He's he sold has. His, he sold his life very, very, very dearly. Okay. Um, yeah, none of you are going to get much out of Taliesin unless you call him, and even then, Me? that might be... We don't really know what's happened yet. But no, just I think gotten there. Yeah, but it's yeah th gonna... there's no real reason to call him for quite a while, no, considering that exactly. the Luas aren't going yet. Of course, of course. But the point is that yeah, yeah. I'm basically saying that's what he's going to be doing for the next five ten minutes until he gets his bearings. Yeah, he gets his mojo together enough to actually think. Right, I need to actually get out of here, yes. get people know, and hide from any potential incoming cops. Because yelling that loudly is going to attract some attention, and when people yeah, come in well. to see this much carnage, yeah, okay. We so sh we do shall it, swap over it, to it, some of the others in the meantime. Do do we have a cleanup crew? <laughs> nope. But some of them had fangs. Yep. Um, the um, what is it called? Uh, yeah, we go over to um, let's say we go over to Terran now. She is slowly making her way to the bathroom, mm -hmm. cursing about people wanting her to wake up way too early. Well, bumping into stuff because she refuses to turn off the lights because Fina is still sleeping. No, <laughs> she wakes up and joins you in the bathroom and looks worried and puts her arms around you from behind and puts her chin on your shoulder and just does the whole uh, do you have to go kind of puppy dog eyes. She's doing it wrong. Bathroom company shouldn't be worried. It should be six. <laughs> She's probably only in her undies after the sleep, anyway. Yeah. So it is kind of sexy. <laughs> Do you have to go? 
I'm afraid so. What happened? Uh, they just wanted to meet up upon all the stuff that happened yesterday. If I'm um, not completely mistaken, we have a new werewolf. Alright. But they want to meet up about all that at this time of the morning. Have you checked the clock? Yeah, well, I actually think it was Tally who started it and he didn't see the time. Look, he shows her the convo. Yeah, I'm I'm going to have words with that boy when I see him next time. Is that all right? Yeah, I'm I'm I am going to be terribly displeased with him for for pulling you away from my arms at this time of the morning. Feck him. Mm, I'm also displeased that he's pulling away only two hours after I got back to sleep. All the more reason. Yeah. Do you sleep all right? Uh, well, considering what's happened, I, uh, I'm not terribly happy about you leaving. I understand. Do you want to come? Can I? Of course you can. Okay. Like if it's that. any consolation, I'm sure Sandy is all right. He that's, took care of her last night. That's good. That's all right. I'll, yeah, let me let me put something on and we can go. That will be a good idea. The wrong people would be drooling after you. Yeah, and then you'd be tearing their heads off. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Shaking them around like an angry chihuahua. Oh, I've seen enough blood for a several lifetimes um, she goes and gets dressed she does Taren tries to find her tired, toothbrush yeah. Yeah. Taryn tries to find her toothbrush comes as she is she probably has issues and find out she has allergies for something <laughs> yeah <snake, snake. laughs> alright so you guys are heading to uh, to um, Shiva. Shiva's place uh, together all right, and we have the Geta Fenris on their way there as well. So, yep. basically, you guys arrive within a few minutes of each other at Shiva's place. Cool. Yay! How awake does Connell look? Um, I think anything... No matter how tired Connell is, Bacon will wake him up. <laughs> <laughs> so awake. he looks very giddy. Despite the hour. Yep. Taryn just looks at him and growls softly. <laughs> Top of the morning to you, Taryn. Oh. <laughs> Taryn oh, starts no. pelting him with whatever she has, and that's probably a handbag. <laughs> <laughs> Fina actually puts, you know, her her head in her hands and is like, oh, "Why is it always that? Why is it?" Always that no Irishman ever actually says that shite. <laughs> well, actually, Jack Sapter guy does. Oh, right. I think he <laughs> smiles at him. I think, he, I think he's English, just putting on airs. Well, he is Irish. Are you sure? Yep, I went to his house. Uh, right. <laughs> no, I, I insist he's got to be English. He has mm -hmm. to be. Are we well, let's get in. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Stop morning? being chipper. <laughs> you so, has clearly taken the time to get ready. <laughs> so, Shiwa? Yeah, I made a lot of bacon for you, but I, I, I saved the grease. I wasn't sure if you wanted it as a sauce or something. Yeah. Uh, and I made some spinach for you, Taryn. Yeah, but That's... the entire house smells of bacon. I, I was going to say I love you, Shiwa, but then you mentioned saving the grease. Why would you do that? As I said, I don't know if you wanted it as a sauce. <sighs> or a drink. Well, I, su I suppose it's the thought that counts. Thank you. Now, uh, where is the bacon? <laughs> In the kitchen. So, uh, oh, hi, Fina. Uh, I'll get something ready for you, too. To Thank be you. fair, Thank Colonel, you. something like saving that grease sounds gross enough that you do it. Mm, point taken. Point taken. Did you bring Janet? Nope. Oh, okay. I think Kat's singing folk songs or something to her. Oh, we asked Kat to take care of her and make sure that she doesn't do anything stupid like seek out her family. 
<laughs> you left her to cat. Do you realize how grumpy cat is in the morning? As She's we, worse we, than I am. We left her to our sub leader. Yes. Yes. Okay. I I'm sure Cat knows what she's doing. Um, well, we just need Tally as an errand, but you can eat. I'll I'll text Tally. Cool, cool, cool. I'm sure Cat won't be as useless as I was. <laughs> All right, uh, guys, d don't let me introduce new cops to this no. thing. Leave that to me. I'm a disaster. I think perhaps we should leave that to me. Uh, uh, anyway, she would text uh, Tally as in asking if he's under the way, or if they are under the way. Well, did you tell her what she was? Yeah, and it was a disaster. Did you no, show I her what she was? I thought it went rather well, actually. Well, didn't you react the exact same way? Like, oh god, I just turned into a werewolf, what the hell am I, and now you're telling me it's actually true. I took well, a week to process that shit. The thing is, I never really truly went through the whole crying thing because I was just in the mindset of no, this is a dream, and that went it went very smoothly into oh fuck, it's not a dream. Over a few weeks, Janet did mention really dreaming a lot of times now, so she did? maybe she's there as well. Yeah, I I did mention to Joseph that it was a dream. But then he took me to the umbra and I was sold. Yeah, I changed in front of her, so... Mm. Oh, you were taken to the umbra, that's nice. My first time in the umbra was when I slipped in there. I know, you disappeared in front of us. Yeah. On the yeah. upside, I already knew how it looked, so that's probably why I recognized it. Hmm. I like cats are fighting. Stop fighting! I guess it's one of those things that's not easy to tell ever, like telling someone their friends or family have died or something? Um, yeah, she... I really wasn't good at telling her not to go back to her family. <clears throat> no, she didn't quite seem to get that part. Wait, isn't, would Janet, isn't Janet daughter of that big thing? Yeah. Yep. Well, yikes. That's bad. Um... We need to have some sort of plan then, because I'm pretty sure her father has the money to make our life a hell. She... <laughs> I'm kidding, Shiva. I'm just kidding. Yeah, I think the look you're getting. <laughs> Ter Terran <laughs> looks up over a cup of tea like, well, that would probably make it a lot easier in all of Dublin, but I think it's stupid. Oh, he's hoping her parents are kinfolk. One question here. Uh, did... Um Shiva sent that text? Yes. All right. yeah. Are you on the way? On the way? Uh, okay. Uh, incidentally, I also sat there and thought, you know, the, the, the awkward things that you might have to tell your parents to sit, you know, I imagine sitting down, Mom, Dad, I've got some things I need to talk to you about, you know. Oh, God, you're pregnant. No, 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 no. I'm first, a first and foremost, you know, I'm, 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 I'm gay. And 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 also, Grandma died yesterday. And uh, you know, the, the the those long nights I've been spending out, it's it's because I'm actually a werewolf. And and oh, by the way, I joined the Tory party. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, let's say. Oh, ouch! That's what I tell you now. Hi, I'm pregnant, and I'm an opium fiend, and I'm in love with a gentleman called Claret, who's a famous whoopsie. And mother didn't die; I killed her. <laughs> yep. <laughs> well, never All right. mind. Uh, um, anyway, you get a text. I do, do I? You do. Far off in the in, in another world, another time. Um, I probably hear it and feel it, and I, I, it wakes me out of the stupor enough to check what's going on. My hands are probably shaking too much to actually text, so I just about managed to hit the call button. And as I'm doing so, I'm aware of where I am and what I'm standing in, and the fact I'm covered in blood. And yes, you're I, covered in Aaron. I get up. Uh, you. Yeah. I, I I get up and I actually sort of stagger my way out of the building and with the aim of trying to get somewhere quiet where people yes. won't see me. Yes. But it's half day, so I'm probably not doing a, a terrific job. No. But yeah. So the phone Didn't is now you? ringing. The phone is ringing uh, for you, Shiva. For whom the bell tolls. Hmm. Oh, it's Tally. Hi, Tally. <sighs> Hi. What's wrong at what's wrong, Tally? 
<laughs> Are we on speakerphone or can we just hear one side of the conversation? Uh, it's uh, it's not speaker yet, but I think actually uh, when you, when she can hear something's wrong, she puts it on speaker. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. right, back to you, Chris. <laughs> oh, you, oh, you, oh, you, oh, you. <laughs> I got there and I don't know how to say it. Places ransacked, there's dead vampires everywhere, and, and Aaron! Oh god, Aaron! <sighs> Aaron drops a cup of tea. She's even paler than she usually is. What, what, Sally? What's with Aaron? <laughs> He's dead! <laughs> yeah, Shiva drops the phone at that. I just. Slumps together with her hands for her mouth in front of her mouth. Mm -hmm. he, he's what? Bump leeches came. Places riddled with their corpses. He took down ten of the shits, but they f they filled him with bullet holes, bastards. And they had the gall to put up, to say a message to take one of ours for one of theirs. I'm gonna kill every last one of them. Every last fucking one of them, you hear me? Oh god, Aaron! Ah! We should call Cat. I'm out on the streets. I'm covered in blood. I had, wasn't thinking straight. I don't think I can get through town without being spotted. Can you? Can you? Can you change into the loopers and, and come here? I'll. I'll call Cat. Yeah. Uh, Fina uh, raises a hand. And says, "You guys have cars, don't you? You you go get him. I'll call Cat." Um, I, I'm no use in a fight anyway, but you, you, you should definitely stick together right now. This, if, for goodness sakes. I think Shiva looks to Connell with the words, Aaron usually drives, stuck in her throat. And I think she, she does so as, as Connell actually re-enters the same room as the others were in a mouthful of bacon. <laughs> well, what's this about fight? Aaron is dead. We need to what? go get Sally. Who did it? The leeches. The fucking leeches. Just out of character kill. though. One of theirs for one of ours, but there were ten in the fucking building. Um, I think... <laughs> they would need ten to get Aaron. Without saying anything else, these are the apartments. Yeah. Um, um, dear Miss Storyteller. Yep. Um, so Carmel has this thing called a short fuse. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You want to roll two, definitely. <laughs> I roll That's two I ones. Thinking. I should probably so also roll. It's, it's, I just need to get. Character sheet. And the the roll I made with the two ones were my rate roll. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you are not raging, definitely. Let's not see, we ever. were on a Philodox moon, right? Yes, you are all at difficulty six, but I would actually rather like all the rest of you to also roll a rage roll because, yeah, well. I'm on my way. Joan? Okay, yeah. So, am I misremembering, or is the difficulty lower for me because I am a Philodox? Uh, no, you're. You, it's it's the same for you. It's not lower on your actual auspice moon. No. It, it, on you your just auspice get moon, the... you get your your full rage uh, pool back if you had spent any. Okay, I must have misunderstood something. O okay, so with three successes, Connell doesn't frenzy. I imagine. No, he doesn't. Um, 
I what believe does happen? Four successes you need, or is it four or five? I can't remember. But I think it's four. I you, think it's four. Yeah. Yeah, four. You need uh, to to flip out, but <coughs> he is balancing precariously close to he the is, edge. Yes, yes. So uh, th uh, th as when when they say that that Aaron has been killed and and that the leeches are behind it, he just grabs his car keys and and vamooses. Yeah. He's out of there. He's going to kill him some leeches. Ah, I figure it's not. Pick up Telly, damn it! Oh, to um, the underage in Dublin. <laughs> the, oh, Aaron, yeah, Taryn doesn't have a car either. She's sixteen. Well, well you might I... be able to reach Aaron, uh, or not Aaron. Nice, that would be hard. But <laughs> reach uh, Connell and and uh, shout after him that you want to come along or something. Yeah, yeah. well, Taryn is already after him because she has an idea of what he's going to do, and it's midday. Oh, well, the sun is up. He won't be catching any leeches at this moment, unless he can find out where they're sleeping anyway. That's <laughs> a very good point. But Indeed. she rushes after him. Yeah. Connell, he's probably near where Aaron's apartment is. Well, then that's where we'll go. Are you coming? Yeah. Because I'm going. I'm coming. What about the rest of them? I think they're in shock. How come? Yeah, I think she uh, picks herself off the floor and, you know, sets her face in the I can deal with this later um, expression that she has, and then she comes along. Yeah. And Motherfucking goddamn fucking stupid fucking leeches! <laughs> yep, and you, you, the last thing you guys see on your way out the door is uh, Fina picking up her cell phone and dialing because she did say she was going to call Cat. Yeah. Uh, actually, I think, um, assuming this is Mary's house, of course, which it is, does Mary have any alcohol in the house? Yes, she does. Does she even know how to make a Molotov? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. In that case, she brings some alcohol and uh, that's the ingredients for that, and well, brings it along the way. On the way, much much better to do that with with uh, petrol than with um, than with uh, um, alcohol. With alcohol, alcohol petrol spreads. Yeah, alcohol doesn't. It, it it burns like whoosh, and then it's gone. Whereas petrol will burn for longer. So if you stop by a gas station and get some, it'll be much she, easier. She begins by bringing the alcohol. Yeah. Uh, I think when she gets in the car, she asks uh, Connell if he has any spare petrol in. The trunk. Gas station. All we need to get petrol is a hose and a random car. True. Yeah. <laughs> but for and now an it's old product. enough car because the new ones have a block there. Mm. Well, boo them. Uh, well, if if you ask Connell if he has uh, spare petrol, he'll he'll say he doesn't. Um, so. Sure. Hmm. Well, you drive to um, to Aaron's place then. Also, ju just um, I think uh, Connor will drive at the breakneck speed. Yeah. Um, oh, don't get stopped by the guard! I don't get stopped by the guard. <laughs> <laughs> Connor doesn't care about that. No. Uh, but my question is: Do you want to drive to tests? No, nope. it's simply because it's so early in the morning. Okay, cool. That uh, you, you cool. probably see something like four cars on your way there, and they're all taxis. <laughs> cool, works. Well, in that case, they understand all taxis naturally also drive at breakneck speed at any given time of the day. <laughs> it's, it's super weird. Every time I've been, I've seen a taxi lately when I've been out driving, they've been going just under the speed limit. Ooh, I, I think they're being tracked via, G via GPS, that's so weird. and they'll get docked for it maybe if they drive too oh. fast. That's possible, yeah. Because I haven't seen a single speeding taxi in a very long time. <laughs> uh, okay, fair enough. All right. But well, that doesn't happen in Dublin, I can assure you. My <laughs> gods. <laughs> Bless you. Gesundheit. Yes. Uh, but anyway, you get to you. I'm just, that just it sounds too funny i'm sorry uh, you get to you get to here just for the heck of it turn sneezes the exact same way and she has allergies uh, okay <laughs> fair enough that is why there is sneezing on the line but it's yes her. you get to here and if you need i can ping again um which uh, thank you thank you at the number one 
Yes. <laughs> that is where you are. Oh. And as you get there, uh, Tally, you see their car arriving. Uh, do you come out of hiding to talk to them, or what do you do? Uh, Have you even been in hiding? Uh, yeah, I've been sort of stuck in a side area. I hear a car coming, I come out, and they'll see me, and... It'll be a frightening mess. Eyes wide, tears streaming, covered in blood, a face that is at one part despondent to the point of utter despair, and the other side... Livid. Yes. I just, uh, basically, everything you don't want to see coming down you from a dark alleyway at night. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and Taran rushes out to hug it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Where is he? Yeah, where is he? Taliesin just points at the door. Um, Colonel, go get Aaron. I think Fen and I will light this place on fire to hide the evidence. Connell bolts up the stairs. Yeah. Well, you see the same thing I described, of course. The, the corpses on the landing, the corpses in the uh, sitting area, the corpses in the living room, including Aaron, the small pile of dust, and, of course, the message on the wall. Okay, so, so there are several things at play here. Yes. The, 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 the many corpses. This, he, uh, Aaron gets us more, woohoo! Yes. Um, then there's the, uh, the writing on the wall. Uh, signed with a V. Yes. And I guess there's the, no. Then there's there's Aaron, dead and all. Yeah. Um, I th I think uh, you're the star child, of course. But I think another frenzy check might be in order. I think that's true. He okay. um, um, uh, there is no question that that as as I said before that that he has. Fuck. He's made them pay really high. Well at, then. Uh, oh my god. Yes. Oh, all right. You all realize something probably went seriously wrong when um, first a chair and then one of the vampire corpses come flying out one of the windows and you can hear the roar from he's, up there. Yeah, he's demolishing the place. Yes tearing it to pieces. Has yep. the sun come up yet? Yes. Is, uh, d does that mean the vampire corpse catches fire? It's already dead. <laughs> well, I don't know if the vampires still catch fire. They don't. They don't. <laughs> High five. <laughs> I no, just imagine Once, once they Terrence... have suffered final death, then they simply, uh, they, they simply catch up to the, the time that they have um, that, that they have existed over a very short time so basically the fact that these are still in one piece says that or or not decom uh, decomposing it says that they're very young i imagine that at the chair going out taryn slowly lets go of tally again and then looks over just as the vampire cops comes flying out and then they hear the roar i think he flipped fucking hell i think it's at why that didn't point we that think to send someone with less anger in shoes. I don't think we have the strength to contain him right now. Um, so let him rage out? Let him rage out and let's make sure he doesn't him. get out. Yeah, I seriously don't blame him. Also, don't go in there because you might also flip out. I guess all of us. True. So let's, let's, let's make sure he trashes the place but doesn't leave it and then we'll burn it to the ground wait um out of character isn't this an apartment yes it is it is so it's that one of the bigger apartments in several yeah so burning that to the ground means burning a lot of innocent people's homes to the ground well clearly shiva is not thinking quite clearly right now <laughs> yeah okay then i will say in character <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's let's burn a lot of people's homes to clear our tracks. That's a great idea. You it's an apartment go, complex. You suggest we go over it with a sponge? I don't fucking know. I don't think we have the time. No, we don't. Uh, if, if this is an apartment complex, we need to stop people from entering the apartment as well. Is it, uh, since his apartment was actually pretty big, yep. is it a richer area? Because it's also had no, a... No, it's, it's, it's actually a family uh, residential area. 
Oh, sh- God damn it, Aaron. That said, um, there must have been an absolutely ungodly amount of noise up there. Because... Gosh, yeah, Connell, Connell isn't being. Yeah, there, there's that as well. You know, <laughs> I, I mean, when when the when yeah. the, when the fight I, took place, there must have yeah. been a fucking ruckus up there. Just as yep. you said that, I was just like, yeah, but if it's families, then people would have woken up. But wait, they would wake up at the initial fight. Yeah. She looks over at them. If there is that many bodies in there, why people would have heard it? They have families that would probably be even angry and shit. I don't, I don't fucking know, but if we need to make sure that nobody gets there, someone block the stairs and then we'll stall the elevator, just hang out in it and keep the door from closing. I'll, I'll Until block the stairs. Until raging. Yeah. Well, uh, basically I just made a, a simple, simple roll here and what is what happens is that... Um, uh, quite apart from the writing on the wall, uh, uh, Connell is comprehensively destroying any evidence up there because he is destroying the entire place. He's not so leaving, however. He, he's focusing all his rage on, on the, the place where this has happened. So mindless uh, carnage, though it may be, the only thing he can't actually destroy is the wall itself, with the writing on it. And I, uh, and and even so, he still, when when it's all over and he calms down, which takes a while, uh, it's still largely impossible to read because there are claw marks in the walls. Well, this is sure going to um, confuse the guardy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Looks like they had a beast in there that got out. Yeah. <laughs> the, the, first, the first question that, that the Garda are going to ask when they get here is, all right, who let the bear out and where is it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> um, why does it have itch scissors for hands? Edward Scissor Bear! <laughs> <laughs> but I, I think when the noise dies down, um... we're gonna take a break. When the noise, <laughs> when the noise dies down, we're gonna take a break, and then we'll be right back. Sure. The next. <laughs> I I'll just realized. Just stop mid sentence. Then <laughs> I'm sorry. I just realized we've gone over time, so uh, we will be right back with <laughs> the next hour of uh, a song of Tara. <laughs> 